Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, Domo's ability to use custom charts to create your own uh, custom visualization, uh, and also to create regions on an existing state map. So uh, to create something like this is not actually all that difficult. You can use uh, a couple tools out there, Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator, and today I'm going to use Inkscape. Um, what you need to do is create an SVG file, and there are actually a lot out there you could download from the internet if you find something that you like, and then it's just the process of relabeling things to match your data set. Uh, but you can also create one from scratch. So for me, I, I couldn't find a, uh, a map of the United States that was um, like this out there. That was an SVG. I had seen some out there being used just generally for visualization, but not as an SVG. So I thought, well, that's just shapes. I can probably create that. So in Inkscape, you can use the stars and polygons, set your corners to six, for example, start drawing. And I'm going to hopefully find a way to turn that from black to white. Here. Just use your decimal and you click set in Inkscape to set that. So there's one. And then the really the key is to uh, match these up with your data set. So in here you see the uh, ID. Right here, it labels it just as path 10. But we're going to label that to a state code. I put Washington's state code right there. That's what will join it to the, hope the Domo find it and, and leverage it for the data set when you power it against a data set. So then you can just uh, go back to this and select copy and click away and then Hopefully hit paste. Let's try that one more time. There we go. And I'm gonna do the next one. And again, important to change that ID. That one, Idaho. And we're gonna do it again. And let's just put Oregon here. I will not do all 50, but just like the like an episode on the Food Network, we hop over here to our finished product. And it looks like this. And if I click on these, you can see, okay, here's my idea of Washington. You can see all these paths. Those are all those are shapes on there. So you see if I click on Oregon, there's Oregon, there's Idaho. There's Alaska, California, they're all there. So once you have uh, yours laid out and saved, you just save and you save it as an SVG file. Then you can hop over to Domo and to the uh, admin section and to the company settings and then to custom charts. And then you can say add chart and upload a chart and drag your SVG file into there. And you'll see it'll populate it. And it's important you want to verify that, hey, yep, it's picking up all the states that I laid out. It says 51 because I put in DC as a state uh, in there this time. And you can change your file name, name of the chart to be something more than just what the file name is. And then you just click Save, and it's there and you see there's one I had saved previously and then if you hop over to chart you see how it's powered up and if we just go into analyzer you'll see I've got a, a data set and it's got a state code for one of the uh, column names so I just drag that into names uh, any value that I want and you see under custom charts uh, when you choose that you see there that that's 
one of my selected charts to choose from. So I did select that and populated the names and values, really functions a lot like the other state and country maps in there. So pretty handy. I like this, uh, it gives uh, those New England states uh, a little more visibility because uh, they're often kind of hidden on the traditional United States map. So that's how you can do that and you can, um, do other ones. Uh, this is one I did previously uh, using one. I did not draw this from scratch, but this was uh, available out there on the internet. And I just had to go in to Inkscape and identify all the body parts. And so I labeled every part to be a part of the body that would match my data set in there. So really no limits so, to what you could do. Pretty, pretty fun to play around with. So. Uh, the next thing to show would be to uh, create regions. See, when you click on add chart, you can create regions. There's a lot of examples out there about creating regions for the whole United States, like West, East, Southwest, whatnot. But I didn't see a lot of examples of, out there about uh, creating regions on a state, but you, can, you are able to do that. And you can do that by zip code or by um, county uh, FIPS code. Uh, if you don't have the FIPS code of your county, uh, that's actually available in uh, the App Store, uh, the connectors as a Domo Dimensions data set. They have uh, FIPS codes for every county, so you could join that in your in an ETL to get that, but that'll help you. And you'll see that in a minute if I just scroll down and choose US state. What it's gonna do is ask for um, of what data set uh, has your regions listed. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to do it by region, uh, by zip code on this. And if I click next, then you're going to choose uh, your region, your new kind of custom region up here, and then choose zip code. And you'll see it'll now zoom in. That tells you it kind of did it correctly. And it's now creating custom regions based off of my uh, spreadsheet that I'd uploaded. And you can then choose any other things that you wanna, um, you know, do you wanna show the subregions or not? Or do you wanna show lines separating subregions or not? Um, so that can do some different things for you there. Um, but then you can click next. And this is again, confirming all the zip codes that I've got in there. And if I did those correct or not, so those are all available um, and showing you that. So wanted to show that off. That's uh, pretty handy to be able to do that. And you see, I've got one for Texas in here using the counties, showing that, breaking that up to, into 11 different regions. Um, those are uh, a really handy tool to be able to do. And I'll just go over and show you that uh, region different Let's see show you what this looks like so these are the zip codes in Oregon and then this is the regions custom regions I want to assign them to I've got custom numbers like one through six and you also those in there so that that's what the custom regions chart needs to be able to link that up and the Texas one actually that might not be the right one Might look like, oh, nope, it was the first one, sorry. So you've got the county FIPS code, I happen to just put it all into the spreadsheet and the county name. So then once you go through that, it will pick that up and be able to assign. And then these are the custom regions that I wanted to use in there for this example. So. Hope you found that helpful, uh, be able to create your own custom chart or custom region. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions on anything.